In this video, we're going to talk about the powertrain components. There are four powertrain components, the drivetrain, the engine, the gearbox, and differentials. We'll start out by creating a differential. You can choose from three different differential types, an open diff, a spool, and Salisbury type. When you select Salisbury type, two parameters will become available the ramp coefficient drive, and the static preload. The ramp coefficient drive represents the locking torque sensitivity to the input torque. It is measured in newton meters per newton meter. The static preload is the amount of diff locking when there is zero input torque. Next, we'll create a drivetrain. With the drivetrain, you'll select your drive layout, the drive application location, and the differential. Next, we'll talk about engines. There are two types of engines, a combustion engine and a 3D engine map. With a combustion engine, you'll simply define the peak torque of the engine with respect to the engine speed. With a 3D engine map, you'll define the engine torque with respect to the engine speed and the throttle percentage. You can also import an engine map from the Excel file. Select the Excel file containing your engine map and select the data ranges for the engine speed, the throttle percentage, and the torque data. When you're ready, click the OK button. Optimum Dynamics will automatically create a new engine map for you containing the information from the Excel file. Lastly, you'll want to create a gearbox. In the data table, enter the gear number and the gear ratio. At the top, you'll want to enter your final drive ratio.